Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> All right. Hey, hey, settle down. Settle down. Hey, hey. Okay, guys. The time has come. We... Um, sorry, boss, but, uh, what happened to your nose? My nose? <laughs> Silly fool. No member of the villain society is allowed a nose. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Tis a tool for peasants. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Carry on. Yes, well, as I was saying, the time has come for us to conquer the world and remake it in our image. All right, I can't wait to see you lay waste to all those butt munchers. Right, well, phase one. Phase one? Yes, phase one shall consist of our first wave. What do you mean, first wave? Are you not going to fight with us? Yes, well, surely I shall, but phase one, <laughs> I send first boss. Huh? So then, phase two? Phase two, I send second boss. Wait, hold on. Phase three, you finally do it yourself? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Third boss. Then, and only then, finally. Fourth boss. What the? How many bosses are you sending? Well, that depends on how many seasons they decide to give us. But, <laughs> final wave, final boss, that's me. I come and lay crushing final blow on them with my unlimited, unwavering power. Right, but by then they'll be at the strongest they've ever been. I'm just saying that if you send wave after wave instead of just the brunt force all at once, and if the heroes survive, then they're going to get stronger. They're going to get smarter. They'll learn how to better beat us with each successful battle that they have. Oh, my brain is hurting. And even if you have unlimited, unwavering power, you're still just giving them more time to catch up and match that power. The heroes are fresh. They don't even know how to use their powers. It's literally Goliath versus Ant. Why wait and give them more time? Join us now and crush them. That's it. Brick, mortar, kill this fool. Wait, no. Ah! He brings up a good point, your highness. Ah! Anyone else? <laughs> no? Okay, good. On to phase one.